of you who don't know me or if you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm the owner and creator here at the Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great weekend. I know mine was very full. My husband and I went camping with some friends and family. Uh, we had a really good time. We had some rain. We had some sun. I think we ate way too much food. Um, I went on a six mile hike that just about killed me. Um, but uh, overall, it was a really good weekend. Uh, but I am really glad, honestly, to be back here at the cottage, kind of getting back in the swing of things and ready to tackle a few more projects in my kitchen this week. So for Friday's video, it will be a thrift flip as well as today's video is also a thrift flip. And for today, I completed three projects for you. I hope you like them um, and I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps me. And uh, if you wanna see more of my behind the scenes kind of chaos and <laughs> what comes in and what goes out here at the cottage, please think about subscribing to my channel and then hitting the little notification bell and that way you don't miss anything. Uh, and then at the end of the video, I would love to know what your favorite item is. So please comment below and let me know. I always like hearing from you guys. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to the three projects that I completed for today's video. For my first project, I decided to go ahead and tackle this really cute basket stand that I found a while back. It was in really good shape, but there were definitely a few places where the wicker had uh, split or lifted a little bit. So I just went around with my hot glue gun and glued any loose pieces down or anything that was split back together just to make sure it looked pretty good when I was done. Then I grabbed my DIY's Dark and Decrepit Liquid Patina because I wanted to give this just a little bit of a darker finish than it had. So I mixed that a one third, two thirds, so a third liquid patina to two thirds water. Made it a little messy and a little bit runny, but I wanted to make sure it would get into all of the nooks and crannies of this piece. So I used a really soft bristle brush and brushed it on the inside and the outside. I uh, went over it a couple times just to make sure it had good coverage. Uh, and then I was done with this piece. And the nice thing about the dark and decrepit liquid patina is it is a finishing coat. So once you're done, you don't have to do anything else. Project two, I decided to tackle these stars that I've had sitting around in my kitchen for a while now. And I wanted to paint them all coordinating colors, but I knew I wanted to distress them all back to one solid color. And I also didn't really like the red color that the stars were. So I went ahead and spray painted these with Rust-Oleum 2X in matte black before I even got started. Once the spray paint was nice and dry, I went in with two good even coats of paint on each one of these and I picked the three colors that I've been kind of using a, a little bit lately. Uh, that's DIY's Crinoline, which kind of looks like a nice creamy white and then DIY's Cake Batter, which is this really pretty yellow and DIY Farm Fresh, which is this really pretty blue green that I love. Once the paint was completely dry, I started the distressing process. Now on these, I really wanted to bring back a lot of that black just so that the stars wouldn't seem so stark against the bases and to really kind of blend them all together. So I took my damp shop towel and I gave these a really good rub uh, to get some of that black to show through. Once that was done and they were completely dry again, I went in with DIY Big Top and sealed all of them. And I did go ahead and seal the stars as well, just to make sure that they all had the same, the same sheen on them when they were done. I think these turned out really good and I absolutely love these three colors together. Thank you. 
For project three, I painted this little box with two good even coats of cake batter and I had painted over some flowers that were on it so I couldn't distress it like normal. So I decided to try this new technique I'd seen uh, where you take a permanent ink pad and you just rub it on the piece in the places you normally would remove paint with either your damp shop towel or some sandpaper. So basically you're giving it a distressed look without actually having to distress the piece. I thought it was kind of cool and I like the effect so I might do it again in the future. Once that was done and I made sure the ink had a little bit of time to dry, I went in with DIY's Big Top and gave it one good even coat all over uh, to seal the paint. Once that was done and the, the Big Top had had plenty of time to cure, I decided to add this cute transfer, just says Farmer's Market. This is out of the morning farmhouse transfer set by Redesign by Prima. So I just put that down and rubbed it on with my stick, removing that vellum piece as I went. And once that was done, I burnished it in really well with my hand. And then I decided I wanted to distress it just a little. So I took my sandpaper and did that. And then I resealed it with some DIY Big Top. Um, and then this piece is all finished. today I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like the projects I finished for you for today uh, if you did please remember to give the video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know which of the projects your favorite was just a reminder any of the DIY products used in today's video can be purchased through me at my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com and for Friday's video, I have another thrift flip coming up and I'm really hoping to have four or five items done for Friday's video. We'll see. Uh, I do have a plant order coming in on Thursday and that can kind of throw a kink in my, in my plans for the week. So hopefully I will get through um, all the projects that I have setting aside for this coming video. Anyway, I hope you have a great week. I hope you'll see me back here on Friday. Uh, and thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. We'll see you then. Bye.